Okay, so here we are in Photoshop with our rotated A3 scanned page. I'm just going to take you over a little bit of navigation about Photoshop. At the top here you have your menu. So every time I ask you to come to a menu, um, you can come up here and I might ask you to drop down on one of these. So that's your menu. Down the side here we have your toolbox. Your toolbox is full of heaps of things and what's really cool with the new Photoshop is if you hover over them, they give you a little um, tutorial on how to use each tool. We're mostly going to be using the Move tool, the Rectangle Marquee Selection and your computers will be on the Lasso tool, but if you click and hold, we'll be using the Polygonal Lasso today. Okay, so this is your toolbox. Each time you grab a tool, your sub-menu changes, which is quite important. Over here we have your windows. We're going to be using your layers window and up here is an important window. This is your history. You can literally go back 20 or 30 moves, which is kind of like doing control Z. Down here on your keyboard you only have one control Z, so you can't keep going back that many times with the control Z, but you can come into your history if you get stuck. So the first thing you're going to do today is you're going to come into here, into your, little, into your layers, and you're going to click on this little circle at the bottom of your layers and scroll up to levels. Then what you're going to do is if you have a look at this page here, I want you to find an area that's meant to be really black because you've done fill, but has actually come up more like a dark grey. And what you're going to do is click on your levels and then here you're going to take your black eyedropper and you're going to come over here and you're going to dip it into there and it's going to make your blacks lovely and deep and rich. Then you're going to grab your white eyedropper and dip it into here. Now because you've got scanned work, it's not going to make that much of a difference. So that's made the work look a lot more dramatic. Then we're going to come down into here and this is a little bit annoying because now we've got two layers and we actually want to squish them together and flatten them and make one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to here and we're going to merge visible. You can also flatten image, but I want you to learn the um, shortcut key. So this would be shift control E, which would be control shift E, or merge visible, and it's come down to just one layer. So then what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of these drawings and we're going to take it through and work with just one of these drawings. I'm going to grab my polygonal lasso tool and I'm going to come in here and go control plus plus and space bar to move along, sorry about that. And I'm going to take this little plane here and I'm going to go tap, tap, tap and I'm going to carefully go around the whole little plane. At that point a little circle will appear when you're going to close the path. Oh, where is it? And that will give you a beautiful little dotted line. I then want you to go Control C for copy, Control N for a new file, and I want you to clip uncheck the clipboard. Create. And then I want you to go control V and it will be a perfect fit for that little plane. We're going to then save it, control shift S or you might go up here and go file save as and you're going to put it into your folder that your year 10 photo and design folder and you're going to give it a name. I'm going to call this one plane. Okay, and you'll see that the Photoshop, that it's a Photoshop file, save. Now when this comes up, just click don't show that again, and that's your first job done. Then I want you to close that, and head back into here, and you're going to see annoying dotted line. The only way to get rid of that is to go Control D. So that ends that little task, then what I want you to do is the same process for as many as you have time to do. So you might next do like say this lotus flower or you might carefully go around some of these other shapes. If there's something else in them, that's okay. Just take it with you. I'll teach you how to rub things out in another tutorial. 
So that ends your intro and navigation into Photoshop.